Hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out what's coming up for Cap Capricorn in love, in life, and everything in between. Capricorn, what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that you are in your fields right now. You will be more in tune, Capricorn, with having emotional stability, not facing any drama, not entertaining any drama at all. It looks to me like you're waiting on something, a, a decision, um, supplements or news from someone from important people in your life you're waiting for some news yeah for some of you you have done a lot of things in the recent past where as of this moment now you're waiting the culmination of it the finalization of it so for example if at work you were doing everything you can to get promoted to do um, to get that position that you want, to move to that department that you wish for. I feel like you have done everything you can in the last few weeks, few months, and then now you are um, you're trying not to worry. You're trying not to, or at least I know, you're probably not worried at all. I feel like you have you have a good control of your emotions, a good control of your reactions, and looks to me like you're waiting for that news yeah and i feel like the news would be really great whatever this is it's a positive it's a positive news that you're gonna get yeah it's a positive news that you're gonna get something is telling me that what i'm getting here is more about work work related yeah it looks to me like um you could have been b very busy at work or dealing with people at work trying to collaborate with people and for some of you, you could even be dealing with someone at work um, or somebody at work has caught your eye. Yeah? You're, there, is a, there is someone that you might be working with and that you are attracted to them or there is some sort of attraction between the two of you. Yeah? There is some, some sort of attraction. But in the course of work, it looks to me like you are both serious, um, you know, the focus is more on work. But on a hindsight, you both know that there is that sort of attraction. What I'm seeing here is that this is somehow like a beginning, but someone, it's, it's like both of you are manifesting each other, <laughs> Capricorn. Both of you are manifesting each other. Or if, if it is not at work, this is someone that you, meet, you have met, um, like in your community where you are gathering up there's a lot of people there and then somebody has caught your attention but I feel like this is the beginning manifestation of a new connection manifestation of a new connection yeah and I, I, I can see that somewhere down the line one of you will reach out yeah, this could be this person will try to reach out to you and be a little bit more flirtatious that's when you would notice or realize that yeah this is just beyond the work context that means that there is interest here there is interest in in both of you and you will feel it by this person's approach i don't see you jumping into conclusions i don't see you jumping into yeah let's do it there's no rush here it's more like it's an initiation right a beginning beginning of attraction beginning of reaching out but it's gonna be fun you will have experiences like you will go out on dates or at least you would not probably even call it dates it's more like you gather up because you have something to talk about regarding the work the common thing that you're doing but along the process you will realize that you will be flirting with each other there is that sense that you're enjoying each other's company just by being there You're the one who is who is showing up as though 
you're not interested you don't want to <laughs> capricorn i feel like you may have felt the connection with this person but as of the moment you're not really giving out any clues you know you're the one here who's trying to contain how you feel you're not expressing as much so it, you're very hard to read for this person you're very hard to read for some of you if this is a person that you have already been dealing with you're kind of ignoring them right now yeah? you're ignoring them right now you're not really um, giving them much attention even if they call you you might probably just drop the call or just ignore it yeah? and this person still wants to work things out with you by the way they still want to work things out with you I'm getting the feeling that they are trying to manifest you back this person wants to reconcile and they may have tried ways in reaching out to you like calling you or checking you online or asking friends about you what are you up to right now because they want to be around you they want to be able to talk things out at this person's side they feel like they have done or they are doing everything they can just to get you back yeah that just to get you back they are trying everything they may even feel like they are out of choices out of ways and means to reach back out to you and in as much as they want to manifest you back um, if you are not really responding to this person's approaches something's telling me that this person would probably continue to just move on of course if your doors are already closed to them what else can they do yeah this person would try to move along move on yeah but on the other hand i'm getting the feeling that in the near future or in your immediate future there is a sense here like i said someone will reach out there's some sort of flirtiness around it or both of you will try to find common activities or do things together that could awaken your passion for each other for some of you it could even be makeup sex for some of you yeah could be like you gather up and then all of a sudden there is that hit of attraction that you may have forgotten already for so long or for the fights that you may have had um, for some you know if you have been ignoring this person that could be a means Capricorn that could be a means of putting sexual tension between the two of you because what I'm seeing here is there's gonna be that fiery event fiery activity that both of you will be involved in and that's going to happen possibly in the next three weeks or three months yeah it looks to me like it's really some sort of a makeup activity makeup sex makeup gathering where you both can talk things out about you know what may have transpired in the past and ready to move on to what can we do next yeah, what can we do? Where do we go from here? How can we be more harmonious towards towards each other? Yeah, how can we reconcile? It's not going to be a reconciliation where all of a sudden you are both reconciled. It's it's going to be like a process. Yeah, nothing to rush here, especially if it is important for both of you. If this relationship is important for both of you, there is no need to rush. And you both realize that you both know that but reconciliation is in the cards is on the cards here yeah. advice what's the advice for Capricorn soulmate new romance is on its way watch out for signs that are leading you to your true love so like I said in the beginning that's that's the feeling that I'm getting you might meet someone too um, especially if you may have been out of relationship um, I'm getting the feeling that you may be meeting someone new a soulmate type of connection for some of you this new romance can also be a romance that you could have with someone that is already dear to you and that you're opening back up to this person opening up your heart in order to give it another chance but whatever that is old or new encounter this is a new romance on your way yeah watch out for the signs that are leading you to your true love temple of the soul you are in your karmic path so you can unravel the mystery of your karmic debts if you are in a relationship capricorn where it feels 
it feels like you are on a karmic wheel you know a situation for example you have with someone that it's been going high and low up and down um you get together you fight you break up and then come back together again it it seems like there it would even feel like there is some sort of toxicity to it it is because there are some learnings that you need to learn from that situation from that connection and until you're able to learn from it until you're able to realize what is the reason of this always coming back what is the reason for us always fighting there are lessons that you need to learn from that situation. Until you learn it, this cycle will keep on continue. You, know, you will keep on going back and forth in the same situation until you learn from it. It's like training in the military, right? You keep on doing, redoing that discipline until you perfect it. You have perfected it. Yeah. On your end, though, I feel like whatever that cycle is, that karmic path, you are towards the end of it you are learning it you are we have the world here so it's more of a completion of that debt you could you could even if this is someone that you have already been in and out for some time now i feel like this last uh, re reconciliation this is going to be the last because by then you will then realize what has been not working in the past and you will try you know the focus is more on work but on a hindsight, you both know that there is that sort of attraction. What I'm seeing here is that this is somehow like a beginning, but someone, it's, it's like both of you are manifesting each other, <laughs> Capricorn. Both of you are manifesting each other. If, if it is not at work, this is someone that you, meet, you have met, um, like in your community where you are gathering up. There's a lot of people there, and then somebody has caught your attention. But I feel like this is the beginning, manifestation of a new connection, manifestation of a new connection. Yeah. And I, I, I can see that somewhere down the line, one of you will reach out. Yeah, this could be this person will try to reach out to you and be a little bit more flirtatious. That's when you would notice or realize that, yeah, this is just beyond the work context. That means that there is interest here, there is interest in, in both of you, and you will feel it by this person's approach. I don't see you jumping into conclusions, I don't see you jumping into, yeah, let's do it. There's no rush here, it's more like it's an initiation, right? A beginning, beginning of attraction, beginning of reaching out. But it's going to be fun. You will have experiences like you will go out on dates or at least you would not probably even call it dates. It's more like you gather up because you have something to talk about regarding the work, the common thing that you're doing. But along the process, you will realize that you will be flirting with each other. There is that sense that you're enjoying each other's company just by being there. You're the one who is who is showing up as though you're not interested. You don't want to. <laughs> Capricorn, I feel like you may have felt the connection with this person. But as of the moment, you're not really giving out any clues. You know, you're the one here who's trying to contain how you feel. You're not expressing as much. So it, you're very hard to read for this person. You're very hard to read. For some of you, if this is a person that you have already been dealing with, you're kind of ignoring them right now. Yeah. You're ignoring them right now. You're not really um, giving them much attention. Even if they call you, you might probably just drop the call or just ignore it. Yeah. And this person still wants to work things out with you, by the way. They still want to work things out with you. I'm getting the feeling that they are trying to manifest you back. This person wants to reconcile and they may have tried ways in reaching out to you like calling you or checking you online or asking friends about you what are you up to right now because they want to be around you they want to be able to talk things out at this person's side they feel like they have done or they are doing everything they can just to get you back yeah that just to get you back they are trying everything they may even feel like they are out of choices, out of ways and means to reach back out to you. 
and in as much as they want to manifest you back um, if you are not really responding to this person's approaches something's telling me that this person would probably continue to just move on of course if your doors are already close to them what else can they do yeah this person would try to move along move on yeah but on the other hand i'm getting the feeling that in the near future or in your immediate future there is a sense here like i said someone will reach out there's some sort of flirtiness around it or both of you will try to find common activities or do things together that could awaken your passion for each other for some of you it could even be makeup sex for some of you yeah could be like you gather up and then all of a sudden there is that hit of attraction that you may have forgotten already for so long or for the fights that you may have had um, for some you know if you have been ignoring this person that could be a means Capricorn that could be a means of putting sexual tension between the two of you because what I'm seeing here is there's going to be that fiery event fiery activity that both of you will be involved in and that's going to happen possibly in the next three weeks or three months yeah it looks to me like it's really some sort of a makeup activity makeup sex makeup gathering where you both can talk things out about you know what may have transpired in the past and ready to move on to what can we do next yeah, what can we do? Where do we go from here? How can we be more harmonious towards towards each other? Yeah, how can we reconcile? It's not going to be a reconciliation where all of a sudden you are both reconciled. It's it's going to be like a process. Yeah, nothing to rush here, especially if it is important for both of you. If this relationship is important for both of you, there is no need to rush. And you both realize that, you both know that. But reconciliation is in the cards, is on the cards here. Yeah. Advice. What's the advice for Capricorn? Soulmate. New romance is on its way. Watch out for signs that are leading you to your true love. So like I said in the beginning, that's that's the feeling that I'm getting. You might meet someone too. Um, especially if you may have been out of relationship um, I'm getting the feeling that you may be meeting someone new a soulmate type of connection for some of you this new romance can also be a romance that you could have with someone that is already dear to you and that you're opening back up to this person opening up your heart in order to give it another chance but whatever that is old or new encounter this is a new romance on your way yeah watch out for the signs that are leading you to your true love temple of the soul you are in your karmic path so you can unravel the mystery of your karmic debts if you are in a relationship capricorn where it feels it feels like you are on a karmic wheel you know a situation for example you have with someone that it's been going high and low, up and down. Um, you get together, you fight, you break up, and then come back together again. It, it seems like there, it would even feel like there is some sort of toxicity to it. It is because there are some learnings that you need to learn from that situation, from that connection. And until you're able to learn from it, until you're able to realize what is the reason of this always coming back? What is the reason for us always fighting? There are lessons that you need to learn from that situation. Until you learn it, this cycle will keep on continue. Yeah, you will keep on going back and forth in the same situation until you learn from it. It's like training in the military, right? You keep on doing, redoing that discipline until you perfect it. You have perfected it. Yeah. On your end, though, I feel like whatever that cycle is, that karmic path, you are towards the end of it. You are learning it. You are. We have the world here, so it's more of a completion of that debt. You could, you could even, if this is someone that you have already been in and out for some time now, I feel like this last uh, re reconciliation, this is going to be the last. 